Okay, today I have a very interesting derivative question for you guys, and that's the derivative of inverse tangent of x minus 1 over x plus 1. And the reason that this is so interesting is because the answer for this right here is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1. I'm not kidding. Also, there are some small technicalities that I have to mention. But yeah, it looks like it's just this. And I know you guys should be surprised that right now, this right here, yeah, we know the derivative of inverse tangent of just x, this is the one that should give us 1 over x squared plus 1, right? Yeah. But anyway, let me just show you guys that in, this right here will indeed give us that for the answer. Alright, when we differentiate inverse tangent, the first thing is, we'll just do 1 over 1 plus whatever this is, and then we square that, right? So let me just go ahead and put a parenthesis, and then inside is x minus 1 over x plus 1, and then we square. But this is not it yet, we will still have to use the chain rule multiplied by the derivative of the inside. So use the quotient rule for that. Square the bottom, so we will have x plus 1, and then square, and then go ahead and put the bottom to the top, so we have x plus 1 times the derivative of the top, which is just 1, and then minus the top function, which is x minus 1, and then times the derivative of the bottom function, which is 1. So this is pretty much it, and the rest is just simplification. So here's the deal. This is the whole denominator for the first fraction, so let's put parentheses, because we'll just take this, multiply, multiply. So here, when we do this times that, we have Let's just keep this for now, so x plus 1 squared. And then we are going to add, when we take this times that, well, the bottom is technically x plus 1 squared, so they cancel. Therefore, we just have x minus 1 squared. And then for the top, let's see, this is just x plus 1 minus x, so x minus x is 0, and then 1 minus negative 1, so it's uh, 2. And now let's just take care of the bottom. Let's open this, we get x squared plus 2x plus 1, and then plus, open that, we get x squared minus 2x and then plus 1. And then we see the 2x minus 2x cancel, and then x squared plus x squared, that's 2x squared, and then 1 plus 1 is 3, just kidding, plus 2. And then 2, 2, 2, so we can reduce that, we will just get 1 over x squared plus 1, and then, yep, we are done. Cool, huh? So first, D, let's talk about why did I say uh, this is not entirely true. Well, we have to go back to how we write the function. We have the x plus we have the x minus one on the top over x plus one, and because we have that x plus one on the bottom, we cannot plug in x equal to negative one. So this right here, we have to mention that x cannot be equal to negative 1 because the domain of the function, right, does not include negative 1. So that's one of the things that even though this and that look the same, but uh, the domain for this is all real numbers. But here we have that small part. And some of you guys might notice that whenever we have two functions that they have the same derivative, well, at least the same look, Shouldn't they just be um, off by a constant? Most of the time, I will say so. However, here, again, this and that, they are not simply just off by a constant because, in fact, the domain is very different as well. So again, let me just write this down here. This right here, I'll just say x can be any real numbers. But here, x cannot be equal to negative 1, so that's the big difference. However, I do have a very interesting question for you guys though. As we know, when we are doing the opposite of derivative, aka the antiderivative, or aka just the indefinite integral, if we look at the indefinite integral of 1 over x squared plus 1, if you want to do this from scratch, usually we do it by trick substitution. But if you want to have some more fun, you can check out my other video where I show you guys how to use complex numbers to do this, right? But anyway though, usually we will just end up with inverse tangent of x, and then of course don't forget the plus c, and 
Yeah, be happy with that. Cool. Well, this is okay. We know how to go from here to here, so put check mark. But my question for you guys is that is it possible for us to integrate 1 over x squared plus 1 dx and somehow end up answering inverse tangent of x minus 1 over x plus 1 and then plus c. So how? It's actually not so bad. The answer is actually kind of on the board already, but uh, to give a reasonable um, process for this, it's not so easy, especially if you have not seen that before. So yeah, I actually have, I was trying to think about how to go ahead and do from here to here, right? I, I couldn't think about, I, I couldn't think of a method. Okay, okay, I know. It's just look back, look back, look back, but that's not really a method, I will say. But anyway though, yeah, you guys can try to think about how you can do any kind of substitution for this and let me know what you guys think. But yeah, that's it for this video and check out my other videos if you want to see more